Good evening, good evening and welcome to a Merry Med Free Christmas. Uh, my name is Gemma and I am a wellness advocate with doTERRA essential oils. Um, so firstly thank you for giving up um, your time this evening to learn how I changed my health with um, doTERRA essential oils. So a few things um, that I want to get um, a few things I want to go through before we get going. Um, if you're watching live, let me know. If you can let me know if you can see me and you can hear me clearly. It doesn't seem to matter what I do with my lights. The um, tablet keeps adjusting it, so we're stuck with the light we've got. Um, if you're watching on replay, then that's great. Um, hey Gemma, if you can just let me know that you're watching on replay. Let me know uh, where you're watching from, because it's always interesting to see where these videos end up. Um, if you think any of your friends and family would benefit from anything um, we're talking about today, uh, please feel free to share this video. Any shares are greatly appreciated to get the education out to as many people as possible. Um, and I'm offering you the opportunity, for those of you that stay with me until the end, uh, to win a oily prize. So stay till the end and I'll talk to you about how... Um, you can get yourselves in on that action. Uh, thanks Gemma. So, there will be other business partners on the um, class who will try to answer your questions um, as they come up. Um, if I don't answer a question, then don't worry, I will get back to you at the end of the class, um, especially if it's a question that doesn't relate to the topic that we're talking about now, um, but we can definitely have a chat afterwards. Um, one more thing, when I'm talking about, um, I'll be talking about the different ways you can use essential oils. When I'm talking about using oils internally, I'm specifically talking about um, doTERRA oils because I know how they're produced, I know how they're sourced. So um, please don't be um, throwing oils from other companies down your neck. That's not why we want to be going. Gemma, am I in my group um, or am I in a Merry Med Free Christmas? Can you let me know? Um, so, we're here basically to talk about um, how I took control of my health um, and I'll run through um, what my health looked like for me um, before ha I discovered the oils and what I did really to try and turn that around. Lovely. Thanks, Gemma. So, um, I was coming up to 39 when I joined doTERRA. And I'd been dealing with um, all sorts of health issues pretty much for my entire adult life. Um, on a daily basis, I was dealing with depression, I was dealing with anxiety, um, migraines, I was dealing with um, acid reflux, horrible nausea. Um, life just wasn't really very much fun. At one point, I was on six different um, prescription medications just to try and cope with my daily life. The problem was, I wasn't really coping. Um, daily life was pretty miserable. So I've just dropped my notes, always starts well. So I was constantly at the doctors um, and each time I went to the doctors, I would end up with a new medication or I would end up with a um, increase in my medication. Um, some of the medications that I was taking, I was totally maxed out on. Um, these, I just had nowhere left to go with some of these medicines. Um, if things got worse, which generally they still were getting worse. Me sitting in a doctor's surgery crying was not an unusual feat. My most worrying symptom, along with the depression, the anxiety, the migraines, the acid reflux, the nausea, my most worrying thing was I would be sat at work and remember I've not hit 40 yet so hopefully I haven't got anything too much going on up here yet um, and I would, suddenly my vision would go, um, I would be starting to um, not be able to string sentences together properly, um, oh how strange, um, okay <laughs> I don't know why it why it wasn't in the event and you couldn't find it, Sarah. Hopefully people will find it. Um, so I was starting to get these funny turns where I couldn't string, string sentences together. Um, I 
would try and write something down and then I would look at the paper and it would just be nonsense. I wasn't even writing proper words um, and I really didn't know what was going on and this um, this was happening every single day and I was beginning to think that something was going seriously wrong with my brain. Um, I don't know why you didn't get a notification, Karis, I really don't. Um, I thought something was going really wrong with my brain and or that I had some sort of serious um, health issue that um, I just didn't know about yet. So I'd been with doTERRA for a couple of months and I'd started to play around with the oils. I started with the top 10 oils um, and I was mainly going for um, sorting out symptoms at the moment. And when these funny turns started, I just, I didn't know what to do. This just wasn't something that should be happening to me at my age. So I reached out to um, one of the other wellness advocates that I knew who had more experience with the oils for me and I went through a full consultation of what was going on and the decision we sort of made between us is that I was throwing so many different um, medications at, um, at my body and having so many different side effects that it was just almost, my body was almost becoming um, toxic. So this is where, um, oh, Jess, I don't know what happened. I literally, I went into the event, pressed go live, and people can't find me. Um, so hopefully people will be able to, I haven't actually started with the oils yet, so hopefully people will be able to um, catch up. So I was... Oh, Sorry, I'm completely throwing my comments now. Um, so I went through and we decided that the medications were literally, they were not working for me. There was too much going on um, with my body. It was causing me to have all sorts of side effects, which was leaving me in quite a toxic state. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that. So modern medicine just basically wasn't working for me. Um, I haven't got anything against modern medicine medicine it's an amazing thing it can do amazing um things when you need it ah hi linda hi cheryl sorry i really don't know why people couldn't find me um so modern medicine wasn't working for me and i needed to really try and find um a way of dealing with all these health issues um because at this point my life was becoming very defined by my health issues and i really thought that this was the way it was going to be forever and i really couldn't see much future in my life really with everything that was going on so I'd come to the decision that I was going to try and taper off some of these medications that I was on remember I was on six different medications at this point I did go and speak to the doctor um, because you know I'm not medically trained so I don't know if I can just go cold turkey off some of these medicines or anything spoke to the doctor and they were perfectly happy for me to try and taper off the uh, medications on the proviso that I would go back to them with any issues that I had going. Hi Rachie, thanks Gemma, hopefully people will find me now. Um, so I promised I would go back to them with any um, issues I was having coming off the medications. I'll tell you now, I didn't go back. They probably wonder where I am right now. Um, so less than five months of trying to make, um, less than five months ago I started this change. Um, at this point when I'm talking to you, I am completely free of all of my prescription medications. Um, I don't take any painkillers, I don't take any antidepressants, anything for my anxiety. Um, I don't take the blood pressure tablets that they were making me take for my migraines. I don't take the prescription strength cocodamol they had me on every single day. Um, and I don't take the um, anti-acid medication, which for me... After doing my own research, I felt that there was a real connection um, with what was going on with my acid reflux, the medication that I was taking to sort that out, um, and what was going on with my brain and why I was having these funny turns, because um, there is so much information out there about the connection between um, the gut and the brain. So as I say, five months on, I've managed to stop all of those medications. Some I tapered down. Some um, I was able to stop cold turkey. Um, these days I barely use a paracetamol, it's very unheard of. I might use something like a Rennie if um, I've overindulged and it's really my fault and I've had 
too much food or something but um, I'm generally not taking any synthetic medication and the essential oils really helped me that's useful just one second drop my notes so the medication um, coming off the medication really just helped me get to the root of the problems and start dealing with the root of the problems and I have actually never felt healthier mentally and physically I feel better than I have since probably my mid-teens and I can actually see a future for myself now and um, and know that I can control my own health with the, the help of the oils. Hi mum. So, also as a side effect of being on so much medication, my weight had almost doubled in over nine years um, and nothing that I tried had really worked. Um, as a result of coming off all of these medications, um, I'm actually healing my body and my mind and that has allowed me to reduce my weight by 40 pounds so far that's from um, the end of July and I haven't followed any strict diet to do that I haven't um, started a major exercise regime it's simply um, because of the changes that I've been able to make in my life and I will go on to what specific oils actually help with that um, so during the class we're going to be exploring what I use to make these changes but first I'm just going to give you a little bit of information on what an essential oil is and why I chose um, to use doTERRA essential oils. I did have my notes all nicely up here on a document holder which has just collapsed so bear with me if you see me looking down. So essential oils are the lifeblood of a plant so they are there to protect them from disease and decay so plants don't they can't run away from a situation like we can so they have to have these oils inside them that protect them um, and help them stay alive and these are the aromatic compounds on which are found in the seeds the bark the stem the roots and the flowers of the plant they've been used throughout history they were used in Egyptian times they were used um, in the Greek civilization um, because they knew about their medicinal and their therapeutic benefits um, there is now a trend for people to be looking for a more holistic approach to their health and people are starting to look at essential oils and natural remedies um, a bit more. Hi Barbara, that's fine. I think there was a bit of an issue with where the, um, the class was. So doTERRA oils are mainly produced through steam distillation um, which produces an extremely concentrated oil. As an example, one drop of our peppermint oil is equivalent to 28 drop uh, 28 bags of peppermint tea now I can easily take one drop of peppermint oil I don't know about you I'm probably going to struggle to drink 28 bags of peppermint tea so modern medicine is generally designed to manage symptoms rather than get to the root of our problems a lot of modern medications are actually made by taking something like an essential oil and making a synthetic version because you can't patent an essential oil these big farmers um, pharma companies cannot make money out of giving everybody lavender really so not the sort of money they make from the drugs that they make so this is why they make fake versions but unfortunately because it's a synthetic version and it's not natural then the body really struggles with that and that's why when we open our medication boxes we have that long list of side effects and all those side effects that I was talking about. So if, to give you an example of how we um, essential oils have been used to create synthetic medication um, you've probably heard of amitriptyline it's something that quite a lot of people are on these days is in a lot of different antidepressants um, Structurally wise, amitriptyline is almost an exact copy of the particular type of lavender that we use from Bulgaria. So you can see that they're taking essential oils and they're turning them into synthetic medications. There is another one that I've got where I'm going to get into that when I talked about specific oils. So it's a sort of copy of the oil, but as I say, it's not natural. So this is why we get all these side effects that I was talking about. By using your oils and learning to, to 
work with your own body um, you're getting to the issue and the root cause rather than just dealing with your symptoms so oils have extremely um, long shelf lives this is one of my favorite facts about the oils that when they opened um, Tutankhamun's tomb and uh, they found a whole load of essential oils in there and this was thousands of years ago that this tomb was sealed up and uh, quite a lot of those oils were still viable to use today. So when you're looking at getting a good quality essential oil, it's, it's going to last you for a long time. So there are three ways of generally using the oils. Um, we can use them um, aromatically, so we can inhale them straight from the bottle. We can inhale them from our hands. Um, we can pop them in a diffuser which if you know anybody who's asthmatic and uses a nebulizer you'll know it produces that sort of mist and that's what a diffuser does so we can use it like that we can pop them straight onto our skin now me personally I don't have an issue with putting neat essential oils on my skin but um, if you are new to oils and you don't know how you're going to react if you're working with um, children, if you're working with the elderly, if you're working with um, anybody who has any kind of sensitivity, then what we would say is if you're going to apply oils to your skin, then pop it in a carrier oil, um, preferably fractionated coconut oil, because we know that reacts well with all of the different essential oils and the the benefits of um, fract of coconated co coconut oil are well known anyway so when we say we're using it topically it's applying it to the skin um, and it's particularly effective if you can pop it on the soles of your feet so the reason for this is the composition of the skin on the soles of your feet is slightly different and it will get the oils into your circulation quicker and once you pop the oils under the soles of your feet, um, they go twice around your body um, within 20 seconds and they've actually um, penetrated every single cell of the body within 20 minutes. You can also take um, the majority of our oils um, internally. As I said at the start, some of you may have missed, I'm happy to take doTERRA oils um, internally because I am aware of how they've been sourced and how they've been produced and I'm confident with the um, purity of these oils. Please, please, please do not start going and getting oils from um, you know a, a brand you've seen on the high street and necking those back because we don't really know what's in them. You can use them internally by popping them under your tongue you can pop it in your drinking water so I quite often have a glass of water and pop it on there or you can add it to food. So things like um, oregano and basil are really, really good for um, if you're cooking anything Italian. You just need one drop and the flavour is amazing. So there are four different types of oils that you can um, generally get on the market or that are used. The first level is um, quite often has synthetic compounds in it or it has things added to it. Um, so generally these are not for um, use for health and they're used for things like perfumes because they're just not pure. So you will have seen things on your air fresheners and your perfumes that say maybe that it's got lavender oil in or something like that. The second type is food grade and that's where we are particularly focusing on um, the taste of an oil rather than what it can do for our health and that's the sort of thing that you might find um, as a flavouring in something like chewing gum. Yeah, I did miss that. You can take, um, I'll probably get onto that later, you can take essential oils in um, clear veggie caps. If you don't like the taste of anything, um, you can just pop it in a capsule, whack it back, it's absolutely fine. So my third grade um, of oils is therapeutic oils and there are a lot of these um, around. You will have seen them on the internet in various different places. Um, they're not always 100% pure. Um, they've not always used the best source of the plant and um, maybe they've harvested it too early or they've used, um, you know, so many different things that can make it not 100 the best type of oil that you can use. So the quality and the consistency can't um, be guaranteed. So my fourth type, and this is when we're coming to doTERRA, and we're only talking about doTERRA in this grade. Um, 
because they're the only company that can supply certified pure therapeutic grade oils. And what do we mean by that? Because it didn't mean anything to me when I started. So for an oil to be certified, uh, certified pure therapeutic grade, um, it must be free of all contaminants such as um, pesticides or any other chemicals. Um, it, might, it must have the right composition, which means that the plants have been grown in the right atmosphere. So um, if you think, for example, if I picked you up and I planted you in an atmosphere you're not very um, happy with, then you're probably going to survive, but you're not going to be your best self. So using the plants where they're indigenous um, and where they're meant to be grown. And we harvest them at the right time. So unfortunately what happens quite a lot of the time is um, because of the way that the farmers are paid, they end up harvesting early to try and get the money in and then you don't get quite the same quality of oil. But with doTERRA, we will pay the farmers throughout the year so they've got a constant income and they don't need to have that um, harvesting it early before it's actually ready. If the oil, the oils are all tested independently, if they do not meet the required um, level, then the whole batch will not be sold. We will still pay our farmers and our people that make them for them, but we, we will not put that oil on the market unless we are 100% sure of its purity and its consistency. So we've done, hopefully, what an oil is and why doTERRA is different. And now I'm going to get on to the personal stuff about how oils have helped me take control of my life. I'm going to start off with, sorry, I'm a bit croaky. Hey, Samantha. So I'm going to start off with my mental health. So it's, it's, it's something that is really quite common these days. If you haven't um, had a mental health issue, I mean, we've probably all got one somewhere if you're human and you've got a brain. But if you've not had one or you've not had somebody close to you that has mental health, um, you're very, very lucky because it's um, high Liz, because it is so common these days. And I've suffered with depression and anxiety um, since my mid teens, I would say. There are, um, I would say, I lost quite a lot of my 20s really to my mental health in that I didn't get to grips with it so I sort of stagnated over um, over that decade and then when I got to about 30 um, it all came crashing down around with me and so I know what it's like to have been in those really really dark places um, and to be paralysed by anxiety not be able to do anything um, and to to probably um, you know, just to live your life really and at that point I did take medication modern medication it probably saved my life I will admit that I wish I knew now what no yes back then um, and then maybe I could have saved myself all of those side effects so my first oil that I'm going to talk to you about is I'm just going to try and see if I can share this out. I'm not very techy. That's fine. Okay, we'll sort that out later. So my first oil that I used, and this is one of my absolute favourite oils. You'll see I get a little bit more excited when I start talking about um, stuff that I use every day. And this is Elevation. So this is one of the oils. I didn't know I needed it in my life until I actually started using it. It's a, now I'm going to read a little bit out of this. So it's an uplifting combination of essential oils which stimulates the body's chemistry when a person is feeling lethargic or they're feeling sad. Um, it's a ready-made blend and the great thing about getting um, the blends from doTERRA is as much as um, we'd all love to have every single oil that there is, maybe that's not possible for you, um, and you can get a ready-made blend with which gives you access to a whole load of oils some of them the higher price point oils um, and you don't need to worry about have I got the right amount in there or um, have I blended it properly it's just all in a bottle and you literally just take one or two drops as required so my elevation it has quite a few different oils in it now the way I know 
how my mental health is, is I sniff elevation. So at the moment, it smells a little bit strong for me. When I am maybe not quite um, as well or on top of it as I could be, it's my oil, I need it, I smell it, I know I need that. When I, um, when I am really on top form, then I don't need the elevation. The reason, um, when I was talking earlier about um, how we use um, a lot of drugs that are synthetic versions of um, essential oils, well, this particular blend, Elevation, is almost entirely um, the same molecular structure as Prozac. So I use this for my depression, and that makes sense because typically I would have been put on something similar to Prozac if I had depression. The problem is when I take um, any of the SSRIs, um, which are typically along the Prozac line, I end up with crazy insomnia and things go wrong. When I take elevation, I don't get any side effects. So I'll go through roughly what it's got through in it, and then you will be able to um, see why those are in the blend. Okay. Sophie, it's amazing. I really would, if you can get hold of it, I would. So it has in it lavender, tangerine, elemi, which I looked up today, seems to be a tree resin, lemon myrtle, uh, melissa, ylang ylang, osmanthus, and Hawaiian sandalwood. So it's got quite a few really good oils in that one. It's good for dealing with anxiety. It's good for dealing with depression, grief, sorrow, shock, postpartum depression, stress, and it's an uplifting, stimulating and energising blend. And what I'm going to do is quickly just give you like one or two reasons why each oil is in there. Um, so we have... Um, Lavender that's great for calming, relaxation, stress and sleep. Tangerine that's good for depression, calming the nervous system and uplifting the mood. Melissa is good for depression, insomnia, trauma and shock. Ylang Ylang is good for frustration, for sadness and acute depression. And Hawaiian sandalwood um, enhances your mood, lessens tension and promotes well-being. So all of those together, you've got a whole powerhouse of oils that are um, going to help with anything you're feeling sort of depression or anxiety wise so elevation really is my go-to oil when I'm dealing with um, depression my next oil is what I call one of my um, maintenance oils so depression is um, elevation is my kicker oil it really can bring me around quite quickly I also have citrus bliss and this is, as I say, what I call my maintenance oil. So I'm using the elevation when I'm having the real lows. I used it quite heavily when I was first tapering off um, and when I first came off the, um, off the antidepressants, I needed to rely on it quite heavily. Now it's been quite a few months since I've taken one. I need to mainly maintain where I am health-wise and this is where Citrus Bliss comes in. So this one is basically to keep my mood up and stop me from getting into those lows quite so much. So citrus oil, um, citrus bliss is an invigorating blend um, and it's also the oil of creativity. It uplifts your mood, it reduces your stress, um, it can help energise and refresh you um, and it can cleanse and purify the air. Do I take elevation internally? No. Um, there are a couple of the blends where... Um, you can't take internally so if there's one that you're looking for I would definitely ask for your wellness advocate um, and they would better let you know if it's one to take internally but elevation I don't so citrus bliss is um, it's a blend of different citrus fruits so imagine how sometimes somebody's got that orange in the office or something like that and they peel it and there's just this amazing smell that comes out of it and it does seem to sort of lift everybody's mood this is where citrus bliss is coming from uh, so it's got orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, bergamot, tangerine, clementine and vanilla bean in it. As far as I'm aware, the only reason you don't take this internally is because it's got the vanilla bean in it. Not that there's anything wrong with vanilla bean, but it's not been tested the same way. 
Um, so with this one, it's really good as well because you've got the mandarin and you've got the clementine in it. Now, because these, uh, the way these are sourced and the way they are produced, they're not generally on sale um, all the time. They come up as special offers. So this is one way of getting those oils without um, having to worry about when they're going to be available. It calms and eases low mood. Um, it's a natural sedative. Um, but when we talk about things being a natural sedative with oils, I don't mean you're going to take them and then you're going to feel really, really sleepy. What it does is um, if you are awake, if you are doing something, then it's literally just going to calm you. If you are laying in bed and you're telling your brain it's time to sleep, that's when it's real sedative um, properties really kick in. Um, so it can be applied to your ears. Um, it can be applied over the heart. Um, emotional oils are, are really good to be applied over the heart area. Um, it can be put on your pulse points, um, it can be diffused or you can just inhale it straight from the bottle. Um, to go through what's in it so we can see why we've put these in the blend, we've got orange which provides um, emotional support by bringing peace and joy and a calming and uplifting effect to the body and mind. We have lemon, which provides energy and an uplifting aroma. And it's also great for detoxifying the body. So when we're talking about we've taken lots of medications and we're tapering down, the, the remnants of some of that medication stays in our body for quite a long time. So taking something with lemon or lemon itself is going to really sort of help get that out of your body. Grapefruit, which is really good at energising, is a great stress um, reliever balancing and uplifting the mind um, the only thing I would say about grapefruit don't take it too too close to bedtime because it is a diuretic um, you have mandarin which was one of our special oils which has is a great mood lifter bergamot which helps with um, self-acceptance and confidence um, something I think we all need a little bit more these days we have tangerine, which is uplifting and cheerful, and clementine, which reduces feelings of anxiousness and lifts your mood. So for anxiety, so um, those are my two um, depression kickers. I have elevation, kick depression in the bum, and I have citrus bliss, which is like my maintenance, um, keep me stable kind of oil. Uh, I have grapefruit in my water as well, Heidi, but not today. I am I do find, I do go to the loo if I take it too close to uh, bedtime. So then I'm going to move on to, so we've done my depression, and that's something I've dealt with for a long time. Anxiety was a fairly new thing that turned up a few years ago, which surprised me a little bit. Um, and I used two different oils um, to deal with my anxiety. So... My first one, if I can find it, is vetiver. And I have a dropper on this one because it's actually a resin, so it can get quite thick and you can be trying to get it out of the bottle for ages. So just popping a dropper on there means that I can use it easier. And I use um, vetiver when my anxiety is or my stress is really sky high. Um, it instantly grounds me and calms me within seconds of me putting it on me for me personally i like to use it topically and i like to use it across the heart area um, and then because your chest is generally warm you're going to get that smell keep going for a long time um, but you can use it anywhere topically on the the um the skin um you can diffuse it and you can use it internally as well so I call vetiver one of my absolute soul oils when you start using oils you might you'll You'll know what I mean by this, that um, they are all great and they all have their good things um, about them. But some of them just draw you in and become one of your oils. And vetiver is one of the ones for me because it has such an instant grounding effect for me. Um, so I really, really wouldn't be without it. It's um, the oil of centering. So that makes sure that makes sense why um, that grounds me. Um, it's relaxing, it's calming, um, it helps with concentration if you're easily distracted like I am. Um, it's useful when dealing with um, feelings of terror, um, helplessness, uh, apathy, which is something I really struggled with when my mental health was bad, um, feeling scattered, feeling stressed, restlessness, and it's really good for insomnia. 
It also helps soothe the nervous system, so that would um, make sense why it has such a calming effect on us, because it's just calming down all those nervous reactions. Um, it strengthens the immune system if taken internally, and this is one that I found out yesterday. It's actually a bit of an aphrodisiac. Now, don't tell my husband this, and I haven't actually had that particular effect of it myself, but if you're looking for that, maybe you can try a bit of vetiver. Um, and it's a really good natural sedative, so particularly used on the soles of the feet, um, it's going to help induce that restful sleep. And when I'm really struggling with sleep, which is something I was medicated for many, many years, I never thought that I would be able to get a night's sleep without being sedated. And using vetiver means that I can, uh, I can get a night's sleep now. So that is my vetiver and that is my absolute favourite anxiety one. But I also have, and there will be a lot of people that love this one, and I couldn't do something about anxiety without talking about balance. So this is a lot of people's favourite oils. So this is an everyday, this is what I use as my everyday balancing oil, um, because it's the oil of grounding. It can bring us peace, calm and tranquility. Um, and what I do is I begin my day by popping it on the soles of my feet every single morning and then I pop it on the soles of my feet every single night and then what that is doing is that's just balancing out my emotions um, each end of the day. I also carry it with me, I have a little purse that I have um, little oils with and I carry it with me because sometimes life just throws things at you and you need a bit of balancing and a bit of grounding. So definitely morning and night on the feet and then use it as you need it throughout the day. Um, it can be used um, topically, as I say, or um, what a lot of people do is they'll like to pop it on their earlobes. I think um, there's some reflexology points and things that I'm not really far um, up on that one or um, around the neck and the back of... Uh, sort of back of the neck area I find it particularly useful to put emotional oils here as well if you feel behind your ear there's a little bony bit and that's generally where I put some of my emotional oils if I need to get them sort of near my senses um, but you can diffuse it as well it's really really good diffused and when we're talking about emotional oils diffusing is a really really great way to get all of that oil into your body and to just really um, start sorting all of that out Oh, where am I? Okay, so balance is great for when you are feeling emotionally overwhelmed. It helps you take a step back from any situation that you're in and get back your peace of mind, and that's what a lot of people use it for. It helps you feel more balanced throughout the day and ready to take on the things that life throws at you. Um, you can use it, as I say, on the soles of your feet probably don't want to be getting your shoes and socks off in the middle of the office this is why we can use pulse points and behind the ears we can use it before we have a big meeting we can use it before we have a stressful event i can promise you now before i came onto this live i have balance behind my ears and i also have it in my diffuser so it includes again it's a blend um, again it's not one that i take internally um, and it's got some really good oils in it. So it's got spruce, it's got hoewood, frankincense, one of my absolute favourites. If I could marry an oil, it would probably be frankincense. Blue tansy, chamomile and osmanthus. So you've got some really um, powerhouse oils in there. And I'll just quickly go through what some of those do. So um, we have frankincense. And so that is one of my absolute favourite oils. There is a saying in the oily world... If in doubt, try Frank. It isn't going to hurt to throw Frank at a situation. It's probably going to help it. But it has really good relaxation properties, which is why we have it in balance. We have blue tansy, which um, sedates the nerves. So it, it gets rid of when those nerves are really kicking off um, and it calms a troubled mind. We have chamomile. So you will, you'll probably be aware of chamomile. People have it in tea sometimes as a relaxing thing. Um, and it's really calming and relaxing. Um, and it helps create a feeling of um, peace and patience, which I think a lot of us need in this modern world. Absolutely picks. If in doubt, get Frank out. 
Um, so that is my balance. So I have my vetiver, which is my, oh my God, things are kicking off and I absolutely need to calm down now. And I have my balance, which a lot of people use balance for that whole kicking off situation. Um, for me, it's my keeping myself steady kind of oil. So that's my mental health stuff. Um, and I can honestly say to you that um, sometimes this stuff is built up over months. Sometimes it's built up over years. Um, you will get or you should get um, a feeling of things getting a bit better as soon as you start working with your oils. But if some of these things are really deep rooted, please be patient with them and allow your body and your mind to heal. And I can promise you that mentally I feel stronger than I have felt probably in the last 20 years. Do I have wobbles? Of course I do. I'm human, but I know I have my oils that have got my back and I can always turn myself back around again. So being without um, all of those antidepressants and anxiety stuff has been a really big step for me. The other thing that I talked about, and hopefully you haven't missed too much at the start, is um, that I was dealing with headaches every single day. I'd got to the point where I had these really blinding headaches every single day. They were pretty much ruining my life. I'm not being dramatic. If you imagine migraine type headaches every single day. Um, I know some people can't get out of bed with them. I think my body got so used to this level of pain that I was able to go to work with them but I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't enjoy anything, um, and they were just really wearing me out. And I went to the doctors, and um, the problem you'll find when you are on so many medications is they go, well, you could have had this medication for your migraines, but it interacts with those other two that you're taking. There isn't an issue with oils. You don't have to worry about one oil interacting with another oil. It's absolutely fine. So I couldn't take normal migraine medication. So I was having to take um, prescription strength, cocodamol, every single day. And you know it says on the back of the packet, do not take for more than three days. Um, oh, thanks, Cheryl. <laughs> um, do not take for more than three days. It may cause addiction. I brought this up with my doctor. He said, just keep taking it. So I was taking those. They made me feel sick. They made me feel fuzzy. And I really wasn't happy with them. So we were looking for another solution and he put me on blood pressure tablets. So I didn't really have blood pressure um, problems, but the idea was that the blood pressure problems, were, uh, the propopanol that I was taking would um, get rid of the pressure in my head and the migraines would go. I'm not saying it didn't work. It did lessen my headaches. But um, if you've ever taken blood pressure tablets, how they work is they slow everything down and they really slowed me down and I think this along with the acid reflux meds was where these funny turns were coming from um, because I was just slowing every single part of me down I was tired all the time I couldn't concentrate yes I got rid of the migraines but I really wasn't much better so what do I now use for headaches first one I'm always going to recommend that you try uh, and this one is one of our top 10 oils and we'll talk about the top 10 oils at the end is peppermint and this is going to come up twice in this class so peppermint is your first go-to headache kicker um, there aren't many headache, headaches that it can't really be effective with and what we can do um, is we can take our peppermint some of you will have seen this before pop it in our hands never need an excuse to do this um, Oh, picks blood pressure meds if you don't need them honestly don't don't go on them um, just break up the oil a little bit and pop your hand on your forehead and on the back of your neck and at first you might not feel anything but very quickly it, you're going to get this cooling sensation and it's going to really help with any headaches that you've got going on and then what we can also do once we've popped it on our forehead and the back of our neck is we can just inhale it the only thing I say with peppermint on your hands, please do not put your hands too close to your eyes because it's going to tingle a little bit. If you imagine if you stuck a peppermint in your eye, it's not a good idea. And what we can also do if we've got a particularly bad headache, because peppermint is fine to be taken internally, is we can pop some on our thumb and just press it into the roof of our mouth to get that in up the brainstem and help with the headaches. So that's great, but I had got into this cycle 
of daily migraines. This is what my body did now. It was so used to it. So the peppermint really, really helped for about 20 minutes. And then I would need it again. So I was really pleased for the relief, but I wasn't going to really want to be taking peppermint every 20 minutes. So my next one that I used, bear with me. I have so many oils on my desk. Is past tense. And this is known as the headache blend. It is particularly made for bad headaches. Um, so I say it's a rollerball. It's a blend again. And what I do is I pop it on my forehead and I pop it on the back of my neck every single morning and night. It's part of my routine. And that is my preventative of stopping these headaches coming because I would wake up every single morning and it was there. It was worse in the morning. It would taper off a little bit in the afternoon and then every morning, bang, it was there again. So by using the past tense, that really has helped me break that cycle of every single day headaches but I also always carry it with me because if I start to feel any pain or anything that might be a really bad headache I can just pop it straight back on again and stop that pesky headache in its tracks so I so say it's known as the headache blend um, it's also really good for helping muscle tension so for a lot of us we get our really bad headaches because we hold our tension in our necks and in our shoulders we're all very tight these days and it gives us headaches so using um, the past tense sort of around the shoulder area is really going to help um, with any tension you're carrying there um, it's great for migraines it's great for tension headaches um, it contains a number of different oils um, now when you smell it everybody smells oil slightly differently but first thing I normally get is wintergreen um, and it contains wintergreen, lavender, peppermint, frankincense, cilantro, chamomile, marjoram, basil and rosemary. So you're getting a whole load of oils in this blend. We have the, So when you smell wintergreen, everybody goes, oh, have you got deep heat on? Well, it wears off for a few seconds. Don't worry, you're not going to have to go around constantly smelling of deep heat. But the first thing you smell, you'll think of it, it smells of deep heat. And that's because it is the sort of um, thing that they pop in deep heat. I don't know if it's a synthetic version or if it's the real version. But when people say to me it smells of deep heat, I say no, deep heat smells of wintergreen. It's one of my bugbears. As so a wintergreen is great for pain relief. Um, we also have lavender, so it's relaxing and calming because we need half, half the time our headaches are because... Um, we're stressed out so we need a bit of relaxing and calming um, it's got peppermint in it so it's got that really long lasting cooling effect that I can already feel on my head so that's going to help us with any uh, particularly tension headaches and things like that it's the reason where you can, why you can get those little f sticks with menthol in them and you can get the patches that pop over your head that make um, that have mint in them that's because the peppermint really helps it has frankincense in it, again frankincense for everything, um, but it has really great anti-inflammatory properties in it um, and sedative properties to calm us down. It has cilantro in it um, for pain relief and for soothing stomachs, so I don't know if you're like me, but if I have a migraine my stomach kicks off as well. Um, it has chamomile in it, so calming, soothing the nervous system and relieving pain. Marjoram for fatigue and head pain, uh, basil for um, dizziness and fatigue and tension we've got going on, um, and rosemary for emotional um, stress and calming. A lot of us have got that emotional stress going on. So if we use past tense, if you're really, really struggling with oils, go for the protocol uh, with headaches, go for the protocol of morning and night, forehead and back of the, um, the neck, First time you use it, do not get too heavy handed because it is, it's strong, which is good. That's why it works. But you might go, oh, that's a little bit strong. So those are my two that I use for headaches. I no longer take Cocodamol. I no longer take blood pressure tablets that turn me into a bit of a zombie, like Pixie said. Um, and I very rarely take a painkiller. Like, really, very rarely. I can't remember the last time I bought any. Um, so that was my headaches sorted. Mental health headaches brilliant my next one that i was really struggling with and this is um it's quite scary how common 
this is now and how many of us are being treated for this and this was acid reflux so you might think of it as heartburn you might think of it as indigestion there are, there is a difference between where it is in your chest and your tummy but you know that burning pain in your chest um, that is really really awful and I was taking a lot of medication for this I was on the strongest that they had um, and still oh I'm just uh, I would be driving along and all of a sudden acid would just come up into my nose if you've never had acid in your nose oh my god it was horrible um and i used to throw up at night because of um how bad the acid reflux was and this is while i was still on this medication so the doctor said um you can't keep going with all this medication we're going to do an operation it's really great it's got we don't we don't do it that often but because you're so young and it's got a 95 percent um success rate brilliant so they did an operation they took my stomach and they wrapped it around my esophagus and that stops acid reflux for about a year literally i think by the time i was signed off by the consultant i got into the car park and my acid reflux started again so i was back at the doctor and i was back on the medication and i had to they wouldn't put me straight back on the strong medication i was on before i had to go through months and months and months of tests and end up back on the strong medication and as I say this caused me all sorts of gut issues because we have stomach acid for a reason we have it to digest our food by taking the um, medication that was stopping me from having as much acid reflux I wasn't digesting my food properly I went to the doctor and said that how I was struggling he said yeah you probably got IBS yeah that's a common um it's a common symptom of your operation I was like well, nobody told me this. Thanks. Um, I would, and generally, I was tired all the time because I wasn't getting my nutrition out of my food. So these tablets really weren't great for me. So I wanted to get off them. So what did I use to get rid of um, acid reflux? Oh, Barbara, you've been on them twenty-two years. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, you can't have. Oh, okay. Sorry. Completely misunderstood that. Um, so my first one that I use is our digest. I don't know what's going on with the light. It's my our digestive blend. Sometimes it's called um, digestin. Sometimes it's called. Have I got the other one? It's called Zengest. It's exactly the same thing. We're going through a relabeling thing in Europe at the moment. Doesn't matter whether you get one that says digestin or you get Zengest. It's going to be the same stuff. And that is basically our digestive blend. So this one, because it's for digestion, you can take this one internally. You can get it in capsules because I don't like the taste of it. Some people love it. Uh, you can get things that are a bit like Rennie's, but they have the oil in them as well. So you're probably familiar for something like this. Um, and I have the rollerball, which I can rub all over my tummy when I have any stomach issues. So how does it work? So it aids, aids digestion of your food. I don't know what's going on with my light. Um, it soothes any stomach upsets. Um, if you're dealing with some food poisoning, it can help to deal with that. Um, tummy bugs. It reduces um, the amount of gas. Um, we don't like to talk about that, but it happens. Um, bloating and acid reflux and indigestion. So it's nicknamed the tummy tamer because there's not a lot that you can have going on with your digestive system that this isn't going to, to help really and it, again it contains a lot of different oils so it contains ginger fennel coriander tarragon anise peppermint and caraway um, so this combination has been put together um, to ease stomach distress and to maintain a healthy gastrointestinal tract glad i got that one right um <laughs> So, I'll quickly go through why, how, why it works. So we have ginger, great for nausea. So probably any woman who's been pregnant has been told to have something with ginger in it. Um, you don't have to be pregnant, you just need to have the nausea. Um, and it helps with bloating, which a lot of us get um, a lot. We have, you know, fat days where you just think, oh, I'm so bloated. Um, and just generally feeling uncomfortable. Uh, we have fennel which promotes our healthy digestion um, and can be soothing after a large meal or a stressful day. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of large meals coming on 
recent over the next few weeks so fennel and digestion digest zen is going to be my friend coriander which aids with our digest uh, digestion uh, I um, there's a reason a lot of these herbs are used in cooking. We knew all of those years back that if we put these herbs into our cooking, it would help with our digestion. Got it right that time. Tarragon. So this helps us produce bile in the liver. Why do we want liver bile? Uh, we need it to um, break down the fats and things in our food so we can absorb um, the fats and we haven't just um, once we start having unabsorbed things going through um, our gut it's not good so we need to be breaking all of that down in a healthy way um, we have anise which um, is digestive issues like indigestion acid reflux and nausea so that's um, another thing of why it's really really good for me um, and it also has caraway which is good for indigestion um, constipation and healing the stomach so if you've got anything ulcery going on anything which you're trying to heal and normally they would throw um, acid reducers at it to try and help your stomach heal um, using something like this is going to help the healing process in a more natural way and it also has peppermint which we've already spoken um, about for headaches um, but we'll go into peppermint um, in a second um, so once we've sorted out our digestion our indigestion and our heartburn for a lot of us is going to get better because it's the fact that we weren't digesting our food properly that was causing um, all of the issues so taking this regularly is going to be helping you with anything you've got going on in the gut as well however if it's quite severe and um, mine was unfortunately remember acid in the nose that was nice um, you can also use peppermint it's in the blend but it also has other ways of being used. So peppermint, as we've said before, can be used internally. And, um, oh, I know, I know I'm going slightly over. I'll try and get through quicker. So peppermint can be used um, internally, and I pop it in my water, um, and that is soothing, and it's cooling. So um, it helps soothe all of that inflammation that we've got going through, um, through our esophagus, and it just helps bring down some of that pain that we're feeling as well. So for me, digestion is helping to fix things and the peppermint um, in my water throughout the day um, is just helping with any symptoms. And it gives you really good breath as well because it's got peppermint in it. My next one I'm going to talk about. So we've done digestion. Uh, can't get that word out right now. It's smart and sassy. So I spoke about this towards the start that I was saying with all the problems I was having and all the medication, I piled on pretty much a whole extra person over nine years. I think I put on nine stone. I've not told anybody that before. Can you not tell anyone, please? Um, and that sounds like loads. And then when you work it out, it's a pound a month. So this stuff can happen. And the, I tried so many things. I would not. I won't have a go at any of the major diets. What works for you, works for you. That's great. Um, but for me, I would lose half a stone. I would pop it back on again. When I'm talking about Smart and Sassy, I'm not going to be telling you that this is the diet oil. You know, you can drop a, a dress size by Christmas. You can lose this much in one in one go. That That's not the angle I'm coming out with it, with Smart and Sassy. My... Uh, weight loss, uh, weight gain came from two main reasons. Um, with the medication, I had a ferocious appetite, as in I could have like a, a massive breakfast, and two hours later I was snuffling around looking for food, and it wasn't just in my head. My stomach would, it was producing the hormone, the hungry hormone, all the time. So I was hungry all the time. My stomach would would rumble, um, and also it gave me amazing cravings like cravings so bad that you can't ignore them that um that you just can't get on with your day that you have to have that chocolate because if you don't you're not going to better do your work um and so put those together hello weight gain that and the fact that i was um slowing down my body with all of these painkillers and with with my blood pressure tablets and everything else it was a recipe for disaster so i came off my medication and uh, that should have been great 
the cravings and the appetite thing should have gone. The problem being that because I've been on them for so many years, it trained my brain and my stomach to have that appetite and to have those cravings. And they were still there even after the medication. They were, they were less, but they were still there. So this is when I started using Smart and Sassy to support myself. So it promotes a healthy metabolism. We're not talking about speeding it up, the scary sort of stuff that you see sometimes um, where, you know, you've tried sort of some sort of diet thing and you end up jacked up on it because it's basically caffeine. Uh, there's no caffeine in Smart and Sassy. Um, it helps us to manage our hunger. I don't mean it suppresses your appetite to the point where you can't eat. Um, if you want to eat, if you need to eat, you will definitely be able to do that but what it's doing is it's taking away that uh, whole desperation to eat all of the time and it's really helped me reduce my cravings so I no longer feel like I could kill the person next to me just to get that chocolate bar seriously it was that bad I have said to my colleagues before I think I would murder you now for a chocolate bar so the cravings have gone Yes, I still fancy things. That's normal. We like food. Uh, we humans, we like it. But I haven't got those intense cravings. And um, for me, that was a really big thing because it has now made food the fuel that I need for my body for the day. Rather than being this all-encompassing, massive thing that just took up all of my energy, the little energy that I had. So smart and sassy great for helping us manage our hunger and our cravings in a healthy way so that we are then um, able to use food as as it's meant to be really um it's also known as the oil of inner beauty and this was quite interesting because it helps you to deal with self-criticism we are all terrible with that we look in the mirror and we go oh my god um, and it helps us deal with that and it helps us learn to love ourselves not in a oh my god look at her she loves herself kind of way but you know the kind of loving yourself that we should be doing so helping me with that and helping me accept what i see in the mirror every day so for me that was really really powerful um it's got in it i'll go through really quick because we're running over grapefruit lemon peppermint cinnamon um i think that's it and it helps regulate your metabolism your endocrine system um, and just helps you take back control my last one and then we're going to just um, get on to how you can get hold of some of these amazing oils my last bit I'm going to go really quick with is lavender and melaleuca so I came back from Bulgaria a year and a half ago and I had this horrible rash on my foot it was honestly my foot was manky I didn't show anybody I don't think even my husband wanted to look at my foot and I found out at the end of my holiday that the beach that I was running my my um, feet through every day the cats were using as a litter tray fantastic so I picked something up um, I decided it was fungal I used all of the stuff that you would normally use for athlete's foot that sort of stuff um, never got rid of it I kind of came to the point where I assumed I'd always have a manky old foot and I was never gonna wear sandals again then when I started looking into lavender which is really good for anything skin wise, rash wise, burns, bites, anything you've got going on the skin and really great to help with healing and then mixed it with melaleuca which is sort of you know, antiseptic, antiviral, you know it is tea tree, you've probably used it before mix those two with coconut oil, um, pop them on my feet within two weeks the manky old foot had gone I'm not showing you but it gone, take my word for it and now, if anything looks like it's going to flare up, then I get my little rollerball out, which you can make yourself. So, we've gone through the different oils that I use um, regularly. There are so many more I could talk to you about, but I really don't want to keep you all night. So, thank you for staying on. Uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, "How I need, I need some of these oils. How am I going to get some of these oils? Um, and there are a number of different ways that you can do it. So you can totally go and get these oils at a retail price. It's an option you have. I really would not recommend that you do that because you have other options and you have the option of having a wholesale account. Um, so a wholesale account 
gets you 25% off your retail price. It gets you um, access to an online forum of over 10,000 oily users. You can guarantee if you've had a question, somebody there is going to have helped, um, asked it before, so you get access to that. And you get access to our loyalty reward points system, which um, is a bit like your Tesco's card, your Nectar card, something like that. You get points back on your purchases. Um, thanks, Sarah. So what most people do when they start off their oily journey is they start off with a kit of oils. So that they've got um, a range of things that they can start putting into their daily life. And the most popular kit is our Home Essentials kit. So with our Home Essentials kit, you get, bear with me, The lovely petal diffuser which is our pretty much does anything um, diffuser and you can use that to diffuse all of your oils this is the one I started with and I still use it every day and you get full size um, oils of the top 10 oils so of the ones we've um, talked about we've done peppermint um, we've done digest zen we briefly talked about lemon the lavender the melaleuca that's all in the top 10 um so if you get the home essentials kit you get the full size bottles you get the free diffuser for this month only you get a free bottle of frankincense now let me tell you what's in home essentials already you get frankincense peppermint i always forget once i'm reading lemon on guard oregano deep blue which is our pain one zen jest which is our di uh, digestive one lavender melaleuca and air which is our respiratory one and stops my husband snoring i swear not it stops him snoring it's amazing you get all of that and then you get another bottle of frankincense on top of that just for joining in december and that's worth over 70 pounds retail um and then just this morning i found out and this is how um one of the reasons I love doTERRA so they've contacted us to say the home essentials kit um, they've run out of some of the packaging doesn't sound like a big deal right you're still getting all of the top 10 oils you're still getting the diffuser you're still getting the free frankincense um, and all the other bits and pieces but you're not getting the right packaging no big deal you think so as a thank you um, for accepting the different packaging uh, they are offering you 50 points to spend in our online online shop on your wholesale account which will be added to your account within 10 business days of you um, buying your kit and that works out at roughly sort of 50 pounds worth of free oils that you're going to be able to get on top of the free diffuser and on top of the frankincense so this this is our most popular kit and the frankincense and the 50 points are um, only for a limited amount of time. So if you want to get hold of that kit and you want to get all the discounts, please speak to your wellness advocate. The person that invited you onto this class, please go back to them um, and speak to them about the oils. If um, when you look at the home essential oils kit, um, it's maybe not something that meets your budget absolutely speak to wellness advocate there are so many options available to you that we can fit with um with any budget really um so as i say speak to the person that's invited you if i've invited you jump into my inbox on wellness wishes um wellness wishes and whimsy do you think i know my own page um or comment oils below here and i will catch up with you and we can talk about how you can start your oily journey um and I think, I think that's it. I'm sorry that we've overrun um, a little bit. Please, if there's any questions, I'll go back through and, um, and I'll answer them because I'll be honest, I couldn't catch them all as they were going through. Um, if you want to get hold of these oils, please speak to your wellness advocate or if I invited you to speak to me. Um, and that's it. So the only other thing I need to speak to you about really is we do these classes every single um, Tuesday and next week's class let me just find it I've got the details oh oh bear with me anyway so it's a frequently asked questions um, class 
and it's basically everything that you've ever wanted to ask about essential oils but you've never had the chance to ask so for me i'm getting on this class because there's going to be things that i don't know about um we're going to pop the event link the new class into this event so you're going to better sign up for it please click go in on it if you want to um, be part of it and then that way you're going to better submit any questions that you have so it's going to be a really really good one to get all of those um, questions that this may have brought up for you and um, and get those answered uh, so watch out for the event link I'm going to pop my notes into the class um, give me a couple of days because as I've been reading them I have seen I have got a scary amount of spelling mistakes. Um, so I'm going to sort all of that out and then I'm going to pop it in so you've still got all the information. But um, my, um, I nearly, nearly missed the exciting bit that you've all stayed on for. My prize draw. So thank you for staying with me. I know I've gone on long. Um, what I'm offering is you can win my little prize, which I have. I'll show you. I have a 5ml bottle of wild orange which smells amazing and then I am doing um, little samples of three of the top 10 oils for you so you can um, smell those and you will also get a copy of the beginner's guide of essential oils which tells you pretty much everything you need to know about these oils. You can look up specific um, ailments that you've got you can look up specific oils so to get into this drawer what you need to do is pop over to my page wellness wishes and whimsy and if anything's been helpful for um, anything that I've spoken to you about today anything's helped you anything you didn't know if you can um, leave me a review on that page um, I'd, I'd be really grateful and then that will get you into the prize draw um, and I will draw it uh, I will probably draw it at the weekend to give people a, time, a good chance to have a look at that um, so if you want to try and get hold of my little oily drawer pop over to my page let me know what you found most interesting um, and pop it on a review for me so thank you for giving me your evening I'm sorry I went over I hope some of it's been really helpful for you and I'm really excited for some of you to join us on this oily journey and I cannot wait to see what difference it can make to your life so thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your evening